Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our final quarterfinal match here. Number one, Kane Waslinchuk, the king of racquetball, will take on the number eight seed, Rocky Carson. Kane comes in. This is a battle of the ages. 39 years old for Kane Waslinchuk. 608 wins, 53 losses. Amazing record. Rocky Carson, no slouch. 42 years old, 585 wins, 232 losses. The last two times these guys played, Kane wins it out. This is a match experience versus experience. To be honest, the head-to-head -head matchup here is 73, I'm sorry, 77 wins for Kane, 3 for Rocky Carson. We really need to look for Rocky Carson to make a statement changing his game being more aggressive. Um, the passive ceiling balls, letting Kane shoot's not gonna work for Rocky Carson, so let's look to that. Look for Kane to shoot and just kill balls. That's what he does best. Low percentage shots are high percentage for the King. You know, his this weekend is dominating Kane Waslinchuk right now. He wants to take it all. He wants to finish it out. This is a quarterfinal match. The winner of this match will take on Carlos Keller from Bolivia. That will be tomorrow. But we had three amazing quarterfinal matches, two semifinalists. The next one's coming up right here. Number one, Kane Waslinchuk. Number eight, Rocky Carson. It's coming up next right here on IRT Live. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really, don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready. All right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, I go to left, got fake them on. Mama, go up, up, up. She did it. Again. You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to quarterfinal Friday at the 2021 United Healthcare US Open Racquetball Championships. This is our last men's quarterfinal singles match of the day. Now let's meet our players. Here competing at the US Open for an incredible 24th time.
This former U.S. Open champion remains a force to be reckoned with. His longevity as an elite superstar is a testament to the work he puts in to keep his body in incredible shape. As he enters the twilight of his career, the only thing on his mind is grabbing one more Grand Slam U.S. Open title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Ladera Ranch, California, former U.S. Open champion, Rocky Carson! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and Rocky Carson getting introduced. Racket Bulls, Iron Man. Mr. Carson, I'm Dean Baird. Joining me in the booth is Kelly Diesel, dual role right now, producer and commentator. Kelly, uh, you're extremely familiar to Carson Kane matches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm familiar to the seat I'm sitting in too, <laughs> Dean. Uh, good to be back. Good to be with the IRT, now of course, here at the opponent. biggest event of the year, the U.S. Open. Words Looking forward to seeing this match, big rivalry, but uh, I'm going to do a little less talking and let Doug Gannam introduce our players here. Player Always love the, the showmanship that the U.S. Open, the US Open puts on. An amazing 15 times yeah, I mean, what US can Open what can you say about Kane Waslinchuk? No, to be honest, the, the greatest. Um, Jason Menino said it yesterday. Uh, you know, he playground. he literally a goes on the Mount Rushmore Alberta, for racquetball. Canada. He first, uh, again, I can't say it enough. You know, Kane Waslinchuk is not chasing history. He's making history. That's an absolute Kane fact. Uh, and if you want to prove me wrong, give it a shot. There he is, King Kane coming down. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kane walking onto the court. These guys have a lot of experience in that court together there, Dean. Exactly. And our referee for this afternoon's match, Scott McClellan. Is this crowd ready to get crazy yet? It is Friday, isn't it? Where's our Kane Wasson Friday, Chuck day three the at the U.S. Open. Where's our Rocky Carson fan? Players are ready. Let's hear it. You ready, Dean? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Players are ready. Strapped in. Let's do this. We're ready. So here we go. Rocky hitting a few more. Kane wants to hit a few. I like the flip flop of colors here, Dean. Yeah. Kane with the black shirt. Oh, look pants. at that. Yeah. yeah, let's tell the fans of the. So Kane Watson truck with serve. He's in the service box. He has the ball. Red shorts, black shirt. Rocky in the back. Red shirt, black shorts. Short serve. So yesterday, you know, Kane was not really serving as well as we thought he would. Um, so that's that's something that we should we need to watch today is Kane serve. However, in doubles, I mean, he was serving bombs and hitting bombs. Look at that flat rollout by Rocky Carson. What a great way to start. Yeah, Dean gives, er, Dean, Kane gives Rocky a pat on the back there. Kane's gonna try to trade his own. But that's skidded right outside the <laughs> lot of respect among these two players. They've only been in this sport a hundred years. Yeah, absolutely. Kane did serve very good in his first round against Troy, but in his second round, the serves were just not landing where we where he thought he was. Not as effective as he as Kane 
or, or up to Kane standards, I should say. I can't imagine what those standards are. Pretty high, pretty high, Kelly. Pretty high. Rocky Carson looking to have a marathon here. Kane looking to end this quickly. First point there for Rocky Carson. No donut donuts today, Dean. Nope. Breakfast was a little earlier. Side out. Well, I mean, there still could be a donut. It's highly unlikely. <laughs> Those odds have to be insurmountable. Nine million to one? Yeah. That's possible. Dean, you mentioned it earlier. He's starting to struggle with that serve a little bit. That's in back. Good get there by Kane. Heck of a shot there. Carson coming out strong. The return return of serves has been the story of this match so far. You know, we're only about four or five minutes into it, but agree, agree. Short serve. Shot there down the line. Kane looking to score point number one. It's usually pretty quick. It's usually the first time he serves. Yeah. I think it was in it's both matches. The first serve was an ace in both matches. Yeah, that, like I said earlier, the, the turn of serves has been the key so far here. So I'm not sure what Rocky was asking uh, I'd love to know. the referee. I know. <laughs> so that serve. Left it high. Awkward there. Wow. Kane out of position. Running back. Still gets it like and it no effort. Blasts it into the corner. See if we can get a look at that here in a little bit. serve <laughs> again return of serve from Rocky Carson from the back of the court right against that bottom bar I think this is exactly what Rocky Carson needs to start this game. look at Kane effortless <laughs> Short serve.
One serving four. Carson serving. Side out. Kane back in the box. Kane looking to add to the lead. Set up off the back wall. Good pick up by Carson. Ooh, right down the line. Wow, what a shot, Kane Waslinchuk. Super Kane. Five serving one. Kane Waslinchuk taking his time in the service box. Looked like a short serve, and it is. Second serve coming up for Kane. Rocky takes that out of midair. Kane into the corner. Wow, what a diving get right there. Guys trading blows and a wide angle pass is a winner for Rocky Carson. Rocky Carson gets himself back into the service box. I want to remind you guys, you are watching free racquetball thanks to the IRT sponsors. Please keep your comments in the chat box appropriate to the match. Kane trying to get a little cute into the corner, skips it. Two serving five on the head pen scoreboard. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the United Healthcare U.S. Open, brought to you by My Pillow, Plascalite, Mueller Sports, Lewis Drug, Sports Minneapolis. Nice Z serve there, but look what Kane did to that ball. USA Racquetball, Keith Miner, Kato M. Gunnerman, Lifetime Fitness, and United Healthcare, of course. Rocky's right there. Unbelievable. Two serving six on the head pen scoreboard. Waslenchuk. Wow, that was a skip. Oh, I thought it was good. But what a camera angle we had there, ladies and gentlemen. Three serving six. I like that Rocky's changing up the serve. He's going with the, the Z to the uh, backhand. He's going to Z to the forehand. He's he's really trying to mix mix it up. Yep. Welcome back, Kelly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. What a diving no get. You see what I mean there? Even it, whether it's Rocky on the ground, whether it's Kane on the ground, whenever the point is done, the other one is always 
reaching over, grabbing grabbing the other one, helping them up. There's just so much respect there. You love to see it from two gladiators of this sport. Yeah, you know, I'm going to agree with you. Someone had in the chat box last night, you know, uh, that Kane Waslenchuk is one of the nicest guys. When you have a guy on the floor, he's like one of the first ones, even in doubles, there's four guys on the floor. He's one of the first ones to go and help somebody up and, and get in, into them. So Yeah. <laughs> Second serve. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen watching, please be mindful of the chat. Post appropriate stuff. If you're going to put a link in there, you're going to get shut down really quick. Yeah, let's keep it racquetball, folks. Correct. Oh, what a winner there from Kane. Back in the box, Kane Wasselchuk. Seven serving three. Here's a question for the folks watching, though. How, when, when was the first time you saw Kane or Rocky play? What match was it? I mean, these guys have been around forever. Correct. I'm sorry, Kelly, what did you say? I, I didn't catch it. Just w for the people in the chat, when was the first time you saw, uh, you know, Kane play or Rocky play? Do you remember the match you saw that you went, wow, he's, this Long guy, time ago. he's, he's going to be something. Got all ages here on the IRT network. IRT Live, that is. Look at that. The crowd likes it. These guys go back a long way, Kelly, honestly. And, and, and you know what they do? Uh, to be honest, Kane, uh, you know, he respects any opponent that's on the court with him. Um, he's never looking to, you know, uh, embarrass someone, you know, intentionally. If he, if he, if he beats you 11-0 and that embarrasses you, well, that's uh, not his problem. <laughs> I, w I would think that's, you know. Yeah. Because I've seen him do it here, U.S. Open. Oh. Against Andre Perea, 11-0, 11-0, 11-0. When we went win three to five games, that was um, pretty brutal. But he's done it to a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> he's just about to say that same thing. He's Correct. Not the only one that he's served donuts to. Short serve. you guys for tuning in <laughs> hashtag just Rock is gonna appeal for a hint avoidable Cole stands appeal used There's the Rocky Carson I remember. I've Chatting heard to everybody. Yeah, I've I've had the appeal. I know the decision of the appeal, yet I'm still gonna talk to the referee about it. Take just a little more time. Unfortunately, he is facing Kane who I think Kane thinks you can take all the time you want. I'm ready to play. Exactly he is. But he served there. All right, Rocky. Three serving seven, Carson back in the service box. Second serve coming up. All right. Just like those other last couple games, Ke uh, Kelly, it's a slow start. Two bounce get. Well, we all know Rocky Carson's in no hurry. 
Yeah, but Kane's usually has his foot on the gas from the moment he steps in. <coughs> yeah, but you know what, what I like about Kane Wassel, Chuck? I mean, you saw that. It was a two-bounce get by Carson. Literally, as the, the, as the ball hit the second bounce, he already called it. He already knew. Now, this, now he seems a little fired up. Eight serving three. Good side out. Carson in the box to serve here. Down five early in game one. Oh, what a shot there from, from Kane. We'll take a look at that one as well. Some kind of debris there in front of the court, it looks like. Might be one of uh, Kane's wristbands there, not sure. Appreciate Rob Blanton out there to grab that. Point. Nine three, Waslenchuk trying to get to double digits. Double digits. Kane train has left the building. He seems to be uh you know, he, he seems to really be dialing in now. That Z serves vicious. We've got a timeout here on the court. 10 3 here, Kane in control. We'll show you a couple replays and we'll cut to a commercial. Some excellent shots there. But yeah, as I said, Kane in control right now. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Give us your thoughts. What do you think this final score is going to be here in the chat box? We'll be back here in about 30 seconds on the IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 25th annual U.S. Open here in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've got Kane Waslinchuk and Rocky Carson battling out here in this quarterfinal. 
serve looked a little short to me, but what do I know? They're going to battle it out in the front there. Point for Kane there, now 12, serving three. Yeah, Kane seems to be dialing, dialing it in now, uh, Fabi. Uh, uh, Kelly, short serve. Don't have quite the accent that our, our good friend Fabio has. Fabio does a great job, Dean. I got to gotta give him props. Do you, don't you remember the first U.S. Open when, when he came and they did the Spanish? Uh, yeah, and David Leon was one? there. It was, a, it was a pleasure having them in the booth with us. Ooh. Ooh, Kane went. It's like he didn't even care about that one, though, you no, know? He's up 12-3. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. you could be a little non nonchalant, but it's usually he makes those. That's the no, funny No, he part. does, though. That is, that's, a, that's a very good point. He does make the, the hot dog plays, if you will. Carson serving. And, uh, to be honest, I really don't know why Carson doesn't just drive serve to the Kane's backhand. He he can click that he can click the uh, side of the ball side of the wall right there. I've seen him do it in Chicago. He does it against other players, so I know it's in his wheelhouse. But it's never it's oh. never done. What a wide angle pass! Yeah, I, I expected Carson to get that. We've seen him get some incredible balls over the course of his career. Wouldn't have been surprised if he got that one, but Kane just too much mustard. Short ball. High lob to Rocky's forehand. He's calling that a skip. He's going to appeal it right away. No appeals remaining. Call stands. I just we want to get back to body language. I mean, Rocky's body language is. It's like he's there, but the lights aren't on, you know? Yeah, he's just, I, don't, I can't use the word checked out, but I, just, I feel like that's an ace right there by the king. He got right. one in. Yeah, he's happy he got a first serve in. Short serve. Went right back to it, though. Woo. Game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. 15-3. Very typical Kane Rossman from game one. Ladies and gentlemen, players take a break. We go two and back. I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. This is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. The new MyPillow towels are exclusively made with 100% USA combed cotton with proprietary technology and with maximum absorbency. They dry you faster and are guaranteed to work. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled MyPillow. And to thank you for all your support, I'm going to pass the savings directly on to you. Go to MyPillow.com to get deep discounts on all MyPillow products. For example, you get my dog beds for as low as $19.99. Or for a limited time, you can get my six-piece towel sets. Regularly $109.99, now only $39.99. The lowest price ever with your promo code.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two. Carson serves. Once again, game two is to 15. If Carson pulls it out, we will play a tiebreaker to three, to 11, game three. <laughs> That'd be a short tiebreaker there, Dean. Missed opportunity. Zero serving zero. Dean, I'm taking a look at uh, some of the people watching at home. Certainly appreciate you know, all your eyes, all your shares, all your likes. We want to just spread this great sport. But we are going to get into some instant replays here in game two, Dean. Yeah, not too many fantastic shots. No, not yet. Not yet, but you know these guys are capable of it. I think we've seen uh, both of them on SportsCenter a couple times. Woo! Good shot, Rocky Carson. Here's the drive serve to the forehand. Turns out to be a point. Much better. Rocky just is way more comfortable. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Same thing. Short serve there. That high lob serve trying to put Rocky against that wall. Gave Rocky some room, but unfortunately puts it in that front court. Got to hit that front wall before you hit the court. He's going to track that one to the back court. Ooh, good side angle. Rocky's there, but skips that one as well. Two skips in a row. Two skips gives two points to Kane. Ooh. Kane in position, but that ball was too low. Great shot there by Rocky Carson. That's a great serve by... Uh, skip and a point. Great serve there by Rocky. was looking like, I don't skip those. Yeah, he was looking over at his camp, I'm sure. I'm sure his uh, coach Winterton is down there. I don't know what, Jason Menino also might be in, in his corner today. That, anyway, they have just great friends. And also could be Sudsy, his doubles partner. Right. You know, that's what players do if you're, you're, if you're new to racquetball, like they're... Um, uh, when when you're playing doubles with someone, you know, they'll be in your corner for when your singles matches are. Yeah. What a good serve by King Kane. Whew. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, you're watching Racquetball Free. Keep your chats in the box. And spread that love to everybody else. Let everybody watch it for free. Yeah, but keep your chat chats in the box appropriate. Certainly appreciate all you guys uh, helping out, you know, reporting and, and blocking those. It's a it's a world of trolls these days, you know. Yeah, well, what we don't want to do is shut off the chat entirely. So no, of course not. You know, we like Great when people talk, but it, it has to be appropriate. Rocky, this is a plum for Kane, thirty nine feet right down. Oh. See, look, Rocky's yep. down. Kane's just helping him up right away. Someone said before that's kind of like uh, a, 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 a 
an intimidating factor. Like, oh, you're on the ground, little buddy. Let me help you. Oh, yeah. Let me help you out. Like you're standing over yeah, top of Yeah, but I, I think Kane, that's genuine. I think it's genuine, I yeah. think it's absolutely genuine. From the backcourt. Kane. Unbelievable. Second serve. I lob. Yeah, Rocky went to cut it off. Now he's playing it off the back. He has a big setup. Kane skipped yeah. it in. Very uh, unorthodox there from Kane. Uncharacteristic. Agreed. Three walls. Yeah, just, what is that, Dean? A little too much power? Yeah, a little too much. You know, it's all about angles, to be honest. And, you know, when he hits a, a certain angle, it just comes up. Wow. <laughs> you know, when, when the angle's off or the speed is off, you know, it, 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 it's three walls. That's just what happens. Mm-hmm. Could have set his feet, mm. point, Wes Lynchuk. Five. 5 2 on the head pen scoreboard. Head pen is not only the scoreboard sponsor, but they have the official ball. They're using the Pro Pen Purple. Great down the line. Another point, Wes Lynchuk. 6 2. Rocky has no answer. Not many do no. against the King. More questions than answers, that's for sure. What a serve. Oh, they called short it short. Short serve. He's immediately looking back. No appeal, though. Rocky dis discussing something there with our IRT official. Scott McClellan. We had a nice segment to start the morning called Ask the Ref. We had Scott in the booth. At, Dean was asking him some questions from you guys at home. Yeah. Try and incorporate you guys into the broadcast as much as we can because you guys are the ones that make this sport happen. Good pick up there. Woo. Mistake right there by Carson, but he has a plum into the corner, skips it in. One of the questions was, you know, about what is the toughest spot to ref from and anything up high, Scott, Scott said, um, you know, what rule would you change? And he, he talked about the encroachment line. Any rule that's really, uh, that you really, it's difficult to enforce, um, that would be a rule he would change. That skipped also. I thought that skipped. He's calling it a good shot. Um you know, what happens when the player raises his racket? That was another one. You know, it's it's a replay. It could be a delay of game. Also, double serving. Can a player jump or lift a leg? And you can because as soon as the ball, as soon as the ball is put in play by touching the racket, you're able to leave the box. So he can jump, anything like that. However, if the ball hits him, it would be a side out or half out. So that was the Ask the Ref segment this morning. Kane skipped that one in.
Rocky Carson with a serve. Kane from the backcourt puts it all the way against the wall. Look at that. Kane's right on that. Carson's there. Can't get a racket on it. Short serve. See a comment there from uh, Brian Pineda saying, in his humble opinion, that dotted line should be removed on a court. Dean, in my ignorance of racquetball, what is that dotted line? It's the encroachment line, and it's it's actually a safety line because if you're a server and you serve the ball, mm -hmm. you know, and it's close to you, and an opponent comes into that, he can actually hit you with their racket. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess it really started for mostly for you know an amateur play. Uh, skipped it in. I don't know if, if it was brought to the pro, if, if that was just one of the rules that carried over to the pro tour out of safety. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of rules have meanings behind them, and, and one of them, one of the biggest parts is safety. You know, they're not looking for players to get hurt. Wow, that was pretty flat with a fist pump. Well, no, no. 7-2 on the head pen scoreboard. Once again, head pen. Gearbox is our sponsor. Kane landing back. Rocky picks that up off the back wall. That might be tough. Kane flat rolls that above his shoulder, pasted to the glass wall. Kane is in his office, ladies and gentlemen. That court is his office, and he's cleaning his glasses, so he's showing that to the referee. Not to delay the game. That looks like a point, eight serving two. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, those last two flatties from Kane. You like that word, there's one of them. And the fist pump. Yeah. I like the fist pump. It's almost actually. the exact same play yeah, here. Yeah, but look where, they, look where he's taking that from, chest height, Kind of shoulder. I thought it was above the shoulder, but it wasn't. It was just about chest high. That's such a difficult shot, and what he does is amazing. Weird shot there from Rocky. I think it kind of threw Kane off a bit. A little, little bit, little bit. Two serving eight, Rocky Carson. Looking to match his score in game one. Nice little yeah, get right there, and he does. Touch. This is a good. Kane jumped the serve, um, but his return was down the line. The, the return would have been back to Rocky's backhand because Rocky knows he's going there, coming all over. Wow, look at that splat. Kane Waslinchuk. Still love the outfits, Dean. Rocky yeah. in the red and black. Yeah, Brian, I'm not saying someone got hurt. I think that's the reason the rule was put in place. That's all I said. Oh. Look at that slap into the course corner by Carson. Nice kill shot there by Kane, side out. Kelly, how much time are we in, into this match? We are at the 42nd minute mark. 42nd? Yeah, oh, 42. 42nd. Nice passing shot right there, Rocky. Kane could not get a rock, racket on a perfect spot for Rocky to put the ball. Good serve, goes up top. 
Overhand set up, Kane backhand into the corner winner. That was a big mistake by Carson. I mean, he gave Kane a plum. Ball came flying off the back wall, maybe a foot and a half um, on the other side of the, uh, in the back of the dotted line. And, and Kane's not going to miss those. Timeout on a court. We'll take a break. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. The more care you put into something, the better it will be. It's why you put so much into everything you do. And it's why United Healthcare has so many ways to take care of you. Like supporting your physical and mental health. Helping make sure you're not surprised by prescription costs. And connecting you to care whenever you need it. Because like you, United Healthcare knows what care can do. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 25th anniversary of the U.S. Open, United Healthcare U.S. Open, here in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. Kelly Diesel here on the mic, helping uh, the IRT live out this weekend. Certainly uh, appreciate all the love. Fun to be back. A lot of familiar faces, and I know a lot of people that aren't here Wish they were, so um, let's get back to the action here. What a shot there from Kane in that top right corner, huh? Skip there, that'll give Kane a point. And serving three here. Just short. We've seen uh, not so much one time this game, not so much today, but in his two matches yesterday, Kane was hitting aces like it was nobody's business. important here for Rocky to at, at least extend a rally hopefully pick up a point not a lot of momentum in his corner but he is the Iron Man he'll be out there all day until somebody gets to 15 oh, good get there from the back kind of sets Kane up though Kane coming back great get there by Carson Unfortunately, we got the two bounces there, though. Respect the hustle. Just not quick enough. Ten three still here on the head pin scoreboard. It's what you want to see if you're a Rocky Karsten fan right there. Nice roll out from the back. And a side out. Kane, another side out. And three, five points away from ending this match. Capturing a berth into the semis. Two bounces, ace. That's he had about three of them. Yesterday, though. No, today. It's a Rocky's forehand. I mean, Kane's his serve is so powerful to the to the backhand that you almost have to cheat it. And when he gets it, it's 
I mean, it's the ball's bouncing twice before it gets to the back wall. And it's extremely frustrating to Rocky Carson. You can actually see it by his body language. Now the point, Kane yep. Waslinchuk cruising. Kane just stepped in there and said, I'll take that low hanging fruit. 12-3. That was a plum. Let's take a look now. Short serve. Once again, they're using the ProPen HD purple ball. That's what the pros use. Kane there, can't get the ball up though. Again, appreciate all you fans in the chat. You know, doing your best to shut down, shut down these bots that keep putting these links in there. We just want to get them out of the way so we can enjoy this racquetball. Rocky Carson served to Kane. Different serve, set up Carson. Puts it into the corner for a point. Rocky Carson, the crowd likes it. 4-12. How do you get to 15, Dean? One, one at a time. One point at a time. Nice kill shot there, two bounce get, point Carson. Yeah, I think even if that was on the first bounce there, Rocky had a perfect angle to go down the line. Kane wouldn't have been anywhere in the ballpark. Oh, wow. Wow. Want to remind everyone, coming up next is 440. Is the men's pro doubles. I think that was a time change. Uh, I'm going to look at the. I don't know what Kane is questioning in there. Wasn't a long discussion. But we shall see. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Short serve. Second serve from the king. I like the serve to Rocky. Replay. Hashtag. He wants an avoidable. I don't think he has a. I don't think he has a. Appeal used. No appeals remaining. Call stands. Hashtag just a replay. Dean, your good friend Bob says hello. Yeah, we know Bobby. Bobby's injured. He uh he one of those Long Island guys you always talk about. Yeah, yeah we got a lot of them in there. You have to introduce did he me give to some Rocky, of these guys. Did he give Rocky a technical? I don't think he had, because he doesn't have a 12 nope. serving, 5. No, no technical. Technical would result in a loss of a point, correct? Correct. Kane ripping that ball. serve. Carson skipped it in. Point 13-5. Two points away, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Rocky look a little, looked a little disgusted with that. What do you think Fran Davis would be telling Rocky here? <sighs> to be honest, I honestly don't know. Chin up, probably. Keep it going. Come Just on. try to get back. I mean, you got to keep your, your uh, players positive. That was a short ball. That touched the line.
Kane was appealing the short. He's saying everybody over there said it was good. Cole stands. Second serve. Not a good appeal. Well, if it's so, referee called it short. If he won the appeal, it would just be a first serve. So it's not a smart appeal, but I honestly don't think Kane cares. Set up, back Ooh. wall, cross court winner. First Super match Kane point. match point coming up. Kane Wasselchuk looking to take his career wins over Rocky Carson to 78 and three. Wow, that looked like a delicious serve. Into the corner, he's there. Kane's chasing it into the corner. There Kane, it is. victory. Look at the fist pump, 15-5. He's super excited going into the semifinals. What a matchup we're gonna have tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have Kane Waslinchuk versus Carlos Keller, Andre Perea versus Daniel De La Rosa. That starts tomorrow. Rocky Carson. What a run here at the US Open. Coming in as the eighth seed. Probably not what he wanted, Kelly. But here we are. Yeah, but here's another thing, though, Dean. It's Rocky Carson. He's in another quarterfinal at a US Open. You know what I mean? That's no small feat in itself. And I, he's got to be, he's got to go home with something to be proud of, right? Yeah, well, every time you're in a US Open, it's tough, you know, and, and Rocky will probably tell you, you know, these kids coming up. Last year, I think Kane, uh, not Kane, I think Moscoso took them out in the round of 16s, uh, or it was the quarters, so um, kind of the same. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, here on this tour, Dean, there's a lot of young athletes coming for that crown. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're going to take a short break, and hopefully we'll be back with uh, player interviews right here on IRT Live. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk Champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready. All right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. <sighs> so go to right, go to left, got fake them on. Mama, go. Oh, mama! She did it. Again. You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh huh. Over one million children are sold into slavery and human trafficking every year. 
At Rafa International, we exist to combat human trafficking and sexual exploitation for one child at a time. For more information, please visit rafa.org or follow us on social media. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and, and, and stop their, whatever they're doing, their jobs, or, or to go watch uh, you play, I mean, that, that makes you uh, feel uh, good and, and, and makes you uh, want to try it hard. For, and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. When you don't feel like yourself, trust the pharmacy experts at Lewis. From prescription medications to finding the things that make you feel better. Lewis pharmacists know what you need. Count on Lewis and feel better. It's important to recognize that you are a team, in sport and in life. You are strong when they are weak, and you give support when they need it most. Correcting when an injury sidelines the journey, and remembering that no isn't an option. You can keep pushing yourself and your teammate, because your energy is their energy, and greatness comes from pushing through. Build in sport. Made for life. Mueller. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the winner's circle again with the champ. So, Rock, um, Kane, 78th time you beat Rocky. Yeah. And yet, at the end of that match, that was adrenaline pumping. Uh, what was going through your head there? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, not playing for 19 months and coming into, you know, a tournament like this and, uh, you know, having to play Rock in the quarters, you know, it's tough. Uh, you know, we've met here in, I think, what, six or seven finals. A lot. Um, I mean, that's just U.S. Open finals. That's not to mention probably for a better part of seven years. I think we played in almost every final in, on tour. Sure. Um, so, listen, Rock is no slouch. Uh, you know, um, my game You know, my game style really matches up good with Rocky. Um, even out throughout the years, you know, it's just really has just been one of those things where he's more of a counter puncher and I'm a shooter. And, you know, Rock will give you some opportunities and, uh, you know, I just put them away. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, there was a little lull. I had a hard time uh, really getting pumped. Uh, it was weird, you know, I, I, the one time I actually did, you know, give a little like, come on, you know, I kind of got tired. So I decided I would stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to waste any energy out there. It, well, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't understand how much emotion it, you know, and, it, you know, when you have that much emotion, you know, how much energy it takes to have that emotion and, and, and put it out there. And so... You know, I'm doing my best to try and conserve it, and uh, this isn't, you know, again, this isn't my regular tournament that I've been playing all the time, uh, you know, right from the beginning, you know, it's, I knew it was going to be a struggle, and, uh, you know, I'm happy to come out with the W, especially against a player like Rocky. Well, one of the things that uh, I saw and some people that were watching had saw is uh, even last night in your doubles match is a player falls. You are literally the first one there uh, to pick them up. Uh, there was chatter about is it genuine? It's genuine. I see the Rocky went down. You were instant. Is that something that is in your head or is it just reaction? You know, that's actually I'm glad you bring that up because it's something that's really pissed me off throughout my career. Really, you know, is that. You know, it's always been deemed disrespectful and uh, I just that bothers me uh, I have the you know I have the utmost respect for all of these players and uh, off the court you know I like I call them my friends and and uh, you know uh, I may be number one and I may win a lot and and all that but uh, you know I respect those guys and uh, you know I don't want anybody going out there and getting hurt and uh, you know honestly it's just genuine from the heart I, I love all those guys and uh, you know uh, without them you know I mean you know the tour wouldn't be around and so you know I, you know people most people think that you know it's really like the top four that make the tour you know possible and it's really not you know uh it's really eight to 25 that really you know help out with the draw i mean they, the top eight players are always going to be there and uh you know so uh you know i'm a, i'm just a, a normal human being man and uh you know i'd like somebody to help me up too one day you know but uh i get it right it's competitive out there and sometimes you know people have a hard time of separating you know being friendly and being competitive and 
you know, I don't. Uh, I, I just don't. I can still stay focused and uh, and help a brother, you know, get up, uh, you know, and I think that we all need to be respectful of that. I brought that up on, on the uh, in the chat. I said, uh, to be honest, I think it's absolutely genuine. I, I really do believe that you appreciate and respect anybody that has to play you. Well, uh, part of my success is, res is respecting everybody no matter what their ranking is. And like I said, I respect them on the court and I respect them off the court. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, I just, uh, it's just a gentleman thing. And I just think that uh, more people need to do it. Yeah, so that's a lesson for all you younger players out there and up and comings. Uh, words of wisdom right here. You don't get a chance to talk to one of the greatest players uh, of all time. So, Kane, I know your circle's small, and I know you said you want to thank him uh, later, yeah. but is there anyone that here that you that helped you out in this match? Uh, apparently, you're not going to let me not thank somebody. So, uh, you know... <laughs> I you guess have a circle I mean right here. I know, but I apparently I can't get away with saying <laughs> after. So uh, no, obviously you know I got more so than here. Uh, I got a lot of friends and family at home that uh, that are supporting me. So you know, thank you for that. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the king going into the semifinals against a Carlos Keller. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be an interesting match. Well, let me tell you something. I tell you one thing. There's not one person in this racquetball world that picked Carlos Keller to be in the semifinals. I can tell you that. I, I think I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not surprised. Um, you know, obviously, you know, beating Conrado was huge. And then obviously, you know, Sam Murray's no slouch either. And, uh, you know, so good for him. Uh, I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him. Uh, I won't be so proud of him and happy for him tomorrow when I play him. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm happy for him. It's nice to see some new blood step up and and uh, you know, I'm just happy for him. Yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck tonight in doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for our quarterfinals. Our semifinals are set. Doubles tonight, right here on IRT Live.